Who knows? My counting skills might not be there. Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we've reached our tenth child. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this time we have no crashes. No game crashes is the plan. Is I don't remember if we got yeah, she's in her third trimester. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to hold out last episode for her to um have the baby, but I felt like the video was getting super long. It might have just been me because like I had to film a little bit longer since my game kept on crashing, but I felt like we were running out of time, so I ended it um there. Um but oh, I think Ian just needs some to get some of his skills up. He's a little stanky, but he's feeling a-okay besides that. Okay, he wants to ask for a bath, but we don't have time for that. So we're gonna do shapes because that's always the thinking stuff is always like our worst enemy as far as that. So we're gonna have him do that. He cannot go potty by himself because he still doesn't have that up yet, but he can do other things. So we'll work on that. Hannah, girlfriend, did you do your homework? No, you didn't. And then you can eat that fruit salad. And then you can be promoted to upstairs bedroom. Yay. Not that you actually feel the need to go to sleep. With these two, I'm gonna check to make sure that they have their homework done. They should have their homework done, but we'll just double check. Yep, that's good to go. Ooh, okay, our person got their um, knitting thing. They said, I got the package. The orange tiger fits perfectly. Thanks, you're welcome. I wonder if Eric got his sold. Yes, because he took our whole knitting thing with him when he left. Rude. Okay, you're gonna have him take a shower and then I'll just let him watch like a movie or whatever. Um, and then he, of course, decides to come in the bathroom right when his brother is using the bathroom. The manners of Sims, there is none. I'm hoping it would be absolutely lovely if this guy finally gets his grades up. Because I, I honestly, I feel like Frank will end up getting out before this kid gets his grades up to an A. I feel like there's just some kids that are on the struggle bus and Jeffrey is definitely one of them. You're gonna be late for school. So he's definitely not gonna get it, any of his grades up today. Can you go, my friend? She's gonna have this baby like any minute. This dude decided to come over. We're not gonna invite him in though. We're gonna water our plants and then sell them. Oh, yep, she's gone to labor. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Join. I have no idea. Is it Mitchell? I think it's Mitchell. I feel like it's Mitchell. We're gonna go with Mitchell. I might be wrong about that, but I think it is him. I think last time was Hugo, and then this guy time it's Mitchell. I don't know. He's not gonna stay anyway. Who is our new doctor? Angelo O'Neill. All right. Okay. Chicken. Bye. So you like they didn't let um Asa be a ghost at this hospital. That's rude. Asa definitely deserves to be a ghost at this hospital. A ghost doctor at this hospital, I should say. So what letter is this? Oh gosh, I don't even remember. What letter are we on? I have no idea. Oh, I think our, our baby, our, our youngest is called Ian. So we should not be at J. We should be at J, I think. <laughs> Hopefully we're at J, cause that's what I'm going with. But I think our youngest is named Ian. I don't think we have a J yet. So we're gonna go with Jay. Um, we have a baby girl. We will name her. Out of all of the J names, I can't think of any of them right now. Jamie. Jamie will be her name. Jamie Webb. That's what we'll go with. So I guess we have enough time to like chat up a bunch of different guys. Since it's day time, let's try and find someone. Let's go with Marcos. Oh um, well, I wanted to try and invite him over, but it looks like we can only send him a message. Um, so we might have to go with someone else. Okay, my friend, just, just, you know, entertain yourself for the time being, okay? And then study your shapes. I'm gonna have her clean and do some things around the house in the hopes that maybe Marco will feel inclined to just come on over himself, but we'll see. Okay, Frank is back. His grade is still a B. To be expected. Yes, finally Jeffrey got in B. What you're gonna do is you're going to do your homework. Frank, if you can watch some TV. I know you're mad. You're upset about whatever it may be. You, honey, you will eventually talk to your brother. You honestly can go ahead and actually talk to your brother right now. Just chit chat together. 
You guys can help each other out. Let's not convince him once his nope or tease him about his grades, you know, all bad things. Just, you know, chit chat with him. Have a good conversation. Ask him about how school is. Oh, the baby's hungry. Whoops. Forgot about the See, I always forget about the babies. Okay. So Frank is feeling still enraged, so he can't really do too much. We're gonna have Frank eat something and then he should be good enough to do his homework. I'll let him watch a little bit more TV, but one after that, serious business. Okay, I don't know which happened between these two, but apparently someone is cheering up. Okay, so she's doing all that. We'll see if this time around Savannah actually sells these lemons. Okay, she, she is selling them. That's good. And then all these sinks always are so dirty. I'm gonna see how many servings we have of this clam chowder. Only three. Yeah, so we should probably cook up some zen -er. We will cook up- we'll just have some classic mac and cheese. Something nice and simple. Not too complicated. Keep it, keeping it simple. Okay, Frank, that is enough TV for you. The TV's loud anyways. Um, these two are still chit-chatting away. I feel like we are due for a house reno fairly soon. Oh gosh, Frank, calm down. But I think we're definitely due for a house renovation and we have $16,000 so we are doing fairly well for ourselves. Fairly, fairly well for ourselves. So I definitely think next step will be to do that. Okay, why is everyone deciding? I mean, like, yes, thank you for trying to come and assist us while, um, uh, right after we have a child. But you guys never did this before, so, like, why did he get down on his knees like she's a toddler? What in the world was that? The Artifact Council, Council is pleased to inform you that you have a very, that have, they have verified the artifact as a genuine iniquity. I don't know how to say these words. They're not complicated words, but like my tongue just cannot say these words. And I'm just not good at pronouncing stuff, period. And then we'll also have her write another book because that's that's been pretty steady, decent income. We'll stick to children's books, I think, for at least the time being. Okay, what else do you need? Okay, you got your thinking done, which is amazing. Um, you just need potty and movement and imagination. Go play with the toy. This TV is just so loud. I will say that. My goodness. So Frank finally finished his homework. Or not, yeah, his homework. Um, he still needs to do his skills though. But we're probably gonna have to make another trip. Just go to sleep. Sleep it off. Sleep off the anger. So we're gonna get over a thousand dollars for that, so that's good. I wonder if it would sell for more if we sold it on Plopsy. We might have to try that out. We'll try that out in the next one. Oh, Christine's here. That's a first. She never comes and she's like one of the first people to actually knock on the door. No, so much for that. <laughs> Didn't last long. She was, she was nice for a minute. And then all these people taking out stuff for, I'm assuming, white cake. That's typically what it's for. Yep, white cake, white cake. My goodness. Okay, where's Christine go? Where did go? I said, where's Christine go? Christine go. Oh, she came and left, apparently. We should probably sell these two. You know what? We're gonna sell these. We don't need these. Got 80 bucks. Savannah loves being in her hospital gown. I'm gonna send, I think, these kids off to bed. Because uh, it is pretty late and they're a bit tired. So I might as well let them have a nice start to their day. Wait a second, where is- why is he sleepy here? I don't understand what these kids are thinking when they go and sleep on the couch. Like, why are you sleeping on the couch? You have a perfectly good bed. I don't really get it. I, I, I don't know really get it. I can't speak English, my goodness. Um, I don't understand that whatsoever. Okay, so he is up. I'm just gonna have him do all of the, you know, before school things, take a shower, you know, use the bathroom, clean up the fridge. At least that's what you do in this house. Um, and then you can get some breakfast. That might take your whole entire morning, but you can watch some TV. Did you do your homework? I don't remember. Yes, you did, because you did it very angrily. Okay, this kid got woken up. But you know what you can do? You can just 
go and start stacking. Savannah, you slept enough. You can get up and take care of your child. And then probably make some more breakfast. Um, let's do French toast. I haven't done that one. Yeah, by the time he gets his food, he's gonna have to go to school. Okay, we're gonna wake her up so she can go to the bathroom. Um, again, it's kind of pointless. He'll just have to eat at school. Where are you trying to go? Oh, to the fridge. Okay. Make your French toast now, Savannah. Okay. Okay, now go to school, Frank. You are gonna be late. Okay, so we're gonna let Savannah do all of the things to get herself ready for the day, and then she's gonna sell all of the things. At least we're still like making some stuff during winter, which is lovely. You, my friend, can get some French toast. And also today we will probably start training Ian on the potty so he can start doing that stuff on his own. And of course, Savannah goes and messes up the sink. Leave it to her to do that. So she's gonna have to also fix that. And give Frank a bath because he just pooped his pants. <sighs> and you broke the toilet. And Daniel wants to come. You know what, Daniel, you can come over. Maybe you could potty train Ian. Ian, ask- oh no. Why do they always get on the ground? Like, well, I don't understand that. Why can't they interact with each other? He should at least be able to say, like, hi, stranger. That's his sister, okay? It's not a complete stranger. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him. Maybe that's the problem. I'm gonna have to not let him go back to sleep for the time being because he's also pretty tired. Okay, so Savannah should now be able to take care of Ian. We might as well just let him potty and then give him a bath. You know, still make a mess of himself anyways. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so we will why don't we chat with our children for a little bit because apparently we need some you know socialization chat with eric my friend my little kiddo go to the pot again while your mother's talking okay he came back tense but at least he's not angry this time he can watch a little movie um you can eat some leftovers and you can just go in immediately with on your homework. Your homework. Let's see where they are. He's B student, B student, C student. And of course the baby starts crying. Okay. Change the dirty diaper. Oh no. Super efficient baby care. Super efficient baby care. Okay, and then we have to give Ian. We'll give Ian a nice bubble bath. Baths are rare for the toddlers in this house, I will not lie. Can we give Ian a bath, please? And Danielle's calling us when you were just visiting us. Like, is that really necessary, Danielle? Why is Ian sad? Like, oh, he's tired. So the quicker we get this done, the quicker you can go to sleep, okay? Okay, I'm gonna let Savannah take like a quick nap. And then we're gonna call over a friend. You know, because we need, we're, she's almost, yeah, her cycle's going to be done by tomorrow. So we might as well have someone lined up and ready to go. Okay, so I think we weren't trying to go for Marco, but okay, now we can invite Marco over. Okay, so we'll mark, Marcos, I should say. Well, not Marco, Marcos. We will invite Marcos over after we take like, a quick little nap situation. You've watched enough TV, you're doing your homework. You've... I believe finished your homework. Yes. So you're doing the best so far, my friend. Okay, so since you're on a cleaning spring, you might as well clean all of this mess up. Because your siblings decided that they needed to take every single food item out of our fridge. I did not realize that children can teach toddlers how to stack this whole time. I could have been using my children to teach my toddlers. They should be able to teach them how to potty too then. In that case. Savannah, I told you to take a nap. Not watch TV. Okay. I was about to say, I don't know why we just got money, but it's our trash can. Okay, so she already ended up inviting over Marco. Our Marcos. I'm gonna keep on calling him Marco. It's like, Marco Polo. Luckily, you know, Sims just walk into your house rudely. Um, so he'll just come right on in. I think tomorrow, maybe, we might venture out to Elsa. Well, no. We'll probably have to wait until like the weekend or something again. Because I don't think we'll have enough time. Maybe we will. Maybe we will have enough time to like venture out to El Salvadorado. Who knows? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to cut your nap short because um this guy might end up be leaving soon. Oh gosh, why did you just throw trash right in our house? That's rude. 
Or outside of our house. Mm, sure, ask his personality type. Why not? Oh, his career. Just ask him some friendly questions. That's his favorite author. Just gets fishing. I'm sure he likes fishing, right? Maybe. I don't know. Just do all of the things with Marco. Post about his Compliment his outfit, even though it's not that great, actually. Give him that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. How nice is that? And that got us some money. So thank you too, Marcos, for just throwing random trash right in your um, front yard. Okay, so I think we should start doing some romantic interactions. We're gonna just go, okay. Frank, Frank, go get something to eat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so we did a nice little flirt. Oh gosh, okay, do a workout, Frank, if you, if you have no control over your emotions. Give him like a nice compliment. Yeah, you look nice. She's so tired. Please, Savannah, just pull through for me. Pull through for me. Put the guitar away. Okay. We're gonna just go and try and attempt to blow a kiss because we can't have this. Oh, don't you dare run away. Don't you dare run away. We are tired of people running away from us. I think he's trying to run to my plants too. At that. Who the heck is this? Who is this? Alex, what are you doing near our plants? We don't trust people around our plants after... Was it Hugo or Mitchell? I think it was Mitchell. We don't trust Great anyone around our plants anymore. Oh. Okay, combo appearance, whatever. Ooh, I think I did that like three times in a row now. Blow kiss. <laughs> Let's take it to the single. Um, why don't we just go ahead and confess attraction? Um. Attempt to seduce. We won't hey. ask that because he's probably not saying Go ahead and have a first kiss. Why not? He's probably like, I'm still hot weather. I don't know how y'all are just uh, dealing with this cold weather right now. Um, and then exchange numbers. She looks absolutely terrible. Oh, can we still try for baby? I don't think it's gonna work. But you know what? We're gonna give it a try. Hey, it's worth the shot. This kid woke up this kid and we put all the food away. Here you go. Here's some French toast. Go and have some of that. Don't bother our your mother. We have tasks to do. Okay, you got your French toast. We can put this back away. And you're feeling fine anyways. You got a decent amount of sleep. You're just gonna go potty. I think you're gonna go stack and then play with the toy. And that should be decent. She like immediately passed out. Can we? I don't think that worked. I think they tried for me, but it won't work until we get this gone, which is still have 15 hours of that. So we will try again in the morning. That baby's just gonna cry, I guess, for a while until Frank comes down to take care. Uh, her. Yeah, it's a girl. I can't remember. These these children are already all blending in. I don't even know how many we have yet. Let's look at that. How many do we have? We're at J. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So we're at 10. Oh my gosh, we reached level 10. Oh my gosh, we've gotten our 10th child i oh my gosh let me just make sure that i'm right about that though who knows my counting skills might not be there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes we've reached our tenth child oh my gosh i need to start doing like some type of like counting situation so we can like remember um for each episode i don't know if i'll either do it on the screen or like just in the description below but i'll definitely just need to start like doing a counter honestly it's 1 a.m. But Frank is feeling pretty good. We might take a quick little trippity trip to El Salvadorado. I wish we could just like take a trip there instead of like taking a vacation. Okay, take a vacation quickly. No one else, just Frank. And we're gonna save. Oh gosh, definitely save. We don't want another fiasco of the last episode. Isn't it called El Salvadorado? That's what I keep on calling it, but it's probably not called El Salvadorado. It's probably called something completely different, but you know, this girl's brain, the way it works. I don't even know if we should waste our time going to this place, because I don't even think- they definitely aren't going to be selling anything, so we're not even going to waste our time. We're going to just go straight to- can we go straight to like the jungle situation from here? I'm not seeing any openings from here, so I'm going to check that as a no. And I'm also not seeing any excav excavating- ex how do we say that word? Stiff over here. So we're just gonna quickly travel. Travel. We're gonna save again too, because I'm just 
Super paranoid after last time. So paranoid. But we'll go to the park again. Okay. Show. Wait, is that? Oh, perfect. <laughs> and I think we just need to take this home and we should be good, maybe. So we might not have to go too far, which actually works out so well. So, so, so well, because then he doesn't have to worry about, you know, being tired for school. Okay, where is our skill? Ooh, see, I don't know if that's going to be enough for us to, like, end at. So I guess we'll just, we'll, we'll go, we'll go a little bit further. We'll go a little bit further, cross our fingers. Okay. Where, oh, where, oh, where are we? And... Ooh, yes, there's another one right here. Okay, so I said we get that one and then we go home. Leave this vacation. That's not really a vacation. It's more like torment. Okay, please. I'm hoping he, he does not get bitten by this snake that's over here. Who's whistling? Is it him whistling? Why is he so tired? He was fine. Well, I guess because he traveled. He did travel. Yes, we got Absolutely. something yeah, <laughs> we got um oh no okay it's just bees at least it's only bees no okay let's oh gosh oh gosh go home just go home go home get away from the bees okay so we got back and away from those bees um frank is so tired i would like force him to like do his li a little bit more from his Excavating journey. Okay, we'll get some leftovers. He's going to sleep. He's good. Let's just make sure he did his homework. Yeah, he did his homework. Okay, what do you need to work on? You're doing imagination, so that's great. You need to work on that one. Okay, yay, you got your imagination. Now go potty twice and then work on your stacking. Okay, let's get Frank up. Stop working on the project. Wake up. Take care of your child. I guess we'll clean this up since she just left it there. I will probably let her do a little flirty painting and then take a nap. And then hopefully by that point in time, we will be able to try for baby with Marcos. All you need is your potty skill. So you're going to go potty a hundred thousand times. Is he singing? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. That's literally what it sounded like. I, I wonder if the singing again, because it totally sounded like row, row, row your boat gently, gently down the stream, and I've never heard a all they do that before. Okay, so we're gonna sell our painting, and she should be good to go to try and have a baby with Marcos. Okay, so we're gonna invite Marcos over. Okay, so you need to go to sleep. Sleep. You need to go to sleep, and you need to go to sleep. This kid went all this way to go ask Eric to help potty train him. That's dedication. I would not have told you to go ahead and do that if I knew that Eric would be all the way over here. That tells you how much Savannah knows what the heck her kids are doing. Is this Marcus? No. Okay, so Marcus, Marco, I keep on saying Marcus, Marco, everything but his actual name, Marcos, should be over here fairly, fairly soon. Who's calling him? Becca, we will be living with you soon, so no need to come over, honestly. Okay, this baby's- I'm honestly about to just tell this toddler to just come back home because he's tired now from running after Eric all this time. And he still hasn't- where the heck is Eric? Where the heck is Eric? Okay, Eric is literally all the way over here. Marcos, I'm pretty sure, is literally passing him right now. Yeah, Marcos- oh my gosh, okay. Eric was literally all the way over here. Nowhere near us. Yeah, and he's like, um, there's no potty over here, kid. So this kid is gonna go, he's gonna go pass out here. We're gonna get this kid taken away from us, honestly. Like, this kid is totally gonna get taken away from us because he is exhausted. I'm actually, oh, that worries me so much. He's gonna get taken away from us. Oh gosh, at least he like, during his little pass out moment, he did get quite a bit. Wait, where's Marcos? Did Marcos ever come over? No, he didn't, rude, or at least we missed him. Maybe we were too busy worried about our toddler. Um, okay. 
You, my friends, you need to do everything. You need a shower. Okay, these not them. Shower. Um, go and clean up the fridge and then get something to eat from your options there. Go do that and then you can work on your project. You should go ahead and wake up. You go ahead and grab something from the refrigerator. You just have to take a shower, do your homework, and then uncover artifacts. Is Marcos coming over? Please come over. Okay. Marcos is here. Cry for baby. This kid's still not here. <gasps> and he's starving. Oh my gosh, please tell me he's close. Oh gosh, okay, he's decently close, but not all that close. Oh gosh, I feel like he's gonna starve. He's definitely gonna starve. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We will put this in his inventory. Okay, stop walking and just eat your mac and cheese, please. Oh my gosh, okay, go home. Oh! He's not eating the mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, okay. Apparently he's kid he has a drink. I know he's very hungry, but he's not coming home. I'm so worried about this kid that like everything else is like, okay, we can't. I told you to take a shower downstairs. Why didn't- Okay. Anyways. So we have to come all the way down here. We're worried about our toddler that's about to get taken away from us. Becca, you should have picked up your brother and took him- taken whatever. Taking him home. Because he won't eat his mac and cheese. His hunger is up a little bit. So hopefully he can come here. Okay. Savannah's pregnant. But we're still worried about Ian. Ian needs to come home before he gets taken away. Okay, just go back to sleep. I don't know what's up with all of these sims. They're just acting funky. But what's new? He didn't even eat. Go eat something and then you can work on your project. She did her things that she needed to do, but she didn't work on her schoolwork. Becca, we're not letting you in. Or no, I keep on- it's Danielle, it's not Becca. Danielle. Um, we're not letting her in because she like completely ignored her brother that was clearly- oh gosh, now he's passed out. <gasps> come home, please. Please come home. So, Savannah's so gonna finish eating. And then I'm gonna have her take a shower and then just go to sleep. This kid is sleeping. This kid needs to go to sleep. Um, and then she also should go to sleep. The only kid we're still worried about is this one. Okay, please hurry up. Hurry up, go, 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 get your mac and cheese. Oh gosh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Go potty and then just go to sleep. You'll get aged up tomorrow morning. Hurry up! been going to sleep i feel like they def definitely might take him away just because he's neglected oh goodness and this kid passes out he didn't even go potty go potty go to sleep okay so he didn't get aged up tomorrow morning as long as he doesn't get taken away from us oh my gosh and of course this baby decides to start crying as soon as he goes to sleep as soon as he goes to sleep this baby starts crying and then this kid is crying about a monster. Wait, what are you? Why are you not going to sleep? Okay. I thought it was a monster, but like apparently it's not even that. Yep. Yeah, I understand why you would cry. I honestly would I completely understand. Okay, you need to comfort your toddler. You totally need to comfort him right now. It does not matter that you're starving. He was literally abandoned in the streets. Okay. So hopefully she's able to comfort him a little bit. And we can feel a little bit better. Give him a hug. Or put him to bed, sure, why not? Okay. That works. Okay. Just like, um, yeah, I'm hungry. I want food. I'm just putting this kid on to bed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let her serve up more breakfast. Not have serve breakfast. Um, because she's a bit hungry. That like literally did nothing for him. <laughs> But hopefully he'll get a good night's rest and then he'll be aged up and then it won't be as much of a concern to get him, you know, his social life. Okay, Frank is up so he will get some breakfast and I'll let him watch a movie while he's at it. And then hopefully he will be finished that so he can uncover this and get his skill up. Okay, yay! Frank got his archaeology skill! So he can go and he will probably be aged up too, which will be great. It'll be great if this kid gets aged up. Okay, so everyone's asleep, which is great. Marco, no thank you. Marcos, no thank you. Love day is tomorrow and this baby is crying like usual. 
And Marcos just keeps on calling us. Can you like take care of this child a little bit? Comfort him a little bit. Oh my gosh, everyone is calling us. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and whip out this. We're gonna put this in here so you know it doesn't go to waste. And we're gonna whip out one of these cakes. One of the many cakes that we have in here. This one will work and help. Ian, blow out his candles! Okay, and of course the baby starts crying immediately. The baby should be aged up by now, honestly, because today is his birthday as well. Okay, Ian blew out yeah, his candles! Fly. Yay, Ian, you get to be aged up! Random trait is gloomy. Mm. Okay, so he's gloomy and a uh, whiz kid. And he aged up with blonde hair. That's strange. Hugo sent Ian a gift. Okay, take care of this child, please. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and eat some of your birthday cake, because, you know, there's nothing else we can do with that cake anyways. And then you can watch some TV. Um, you, Savannah, you need to take care of your garden. Sell everything. Sell everything. Water everything. Do all of the things. I don't think she has used this thing once. Oh! This kid aged up. Little, little Jamie, that's her name. And she is inquisitive. So we are going to get a, gosh, those TVs are so loud. We are going to get a head start with Jamie and get her a potty. Can she, since she's inquisitive, she, can't she do thinking on her own now? Wishful thinking there. Teach shape. Okay, Ian, you know what, that's enough TV. Okay, so Ian, you can go potty and then you're gonna clean up a little bit and then you can go to sleep. I'm realizing now we have more children than we have beds, at least like beds that teens and kids could sleep in. So I'm crossing my fingers that Frank ages up today. Does Frank age up today? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. But Jeffrey does. So that's one thing. So we'll go ahead and let Jeffrey age up right now, quickly. Put that back. And Jeffrey, Jeffrey can blow out your candles and age up. If only your brother could age up. Okay, 10, love. This is the first time we've gotten one for love. Okay, so he is a serial romantic. He's an art lover, music lover, and serial, honestly, honestly, I could see it. I could see it. With those traits, at least. Jeffrey himself, mm, I don't know, but with those traits, definitely. But I think we're gonna end the episode here, guys, and we'll pick it up with the next episode, and I will probably pick it up first thing showing you guys what their makeovers are because you know we have several sims that need makeovers and hopefully in the next episode frank actually gets aged up and gets out of our house because that would be great thank you all so much for watching this video if you like this video you can give this video a thumbs up you can comment down below and you can also subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys bye